Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I'm gonna to be giving you an update on my propagation effort here with my Pinguicula sethos. This is a Mexican butterwort and I did some leaf pollings here about 22 days ago. Today is March 28th, this was back on March 6th and they've actually been doing really, really well. So I wanted to give, usually I don't give an update till about 30 days, but they're doing so well right now that I just wanted to give you a quick update here. This isn't gonna be a super long video, it's just gonna be quick. Before I get too much into this, I just wanted to thank you so much for being here. Uh, make sure that if you like this video, you like this content, to give this video a like, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing my best to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday, and uh, you liking the video, subscribing to my channel are things that help me out a lot. And I get to bring you uh, cool videos like this, like this uh, propagation effort that I have here with some really cool results. So if you subscribe to the channel, you get notifications on videos like this so you know uh, when the next video comes out. So let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at some of these propagations here. I'm gonna show you this one first just because it's my favorite. Uh, but look at this one here. This one's actually almost like full on peeing here. This one's probably actually pretty close, ready to be repotted into its own soil so that it can take off. It's doing, let me see if it'll let me get any closer, a little bit closer there for you. It's doing really, really well. Uh, and actually on just about all of these, you can see not too much going on on that one, but a little one, but almost all of these have some type of growth coming up and are doing really, really well. Uh, just about every single one of these ones have a little bit smaller ones but they're doing really well. Actually, the only ones that didn't really do anything are these little tiny ones. But look at that one there, that, that one's another pretty cool one. Let me get out of my own light here. Uh, this one's got a nice big cluster on it right there coming out. That one's got one shooting off. Nice little cluster right there, you can see. This one here is pretty neat. Let me find it, where's it? That one there. It's coming off, it's starting to take shape. But you can see almost every single one of these works. So this propagation method is super effective. That one, oh yeah, you can see those ones right there doing really, really well. That one there's going downward, but is also doing really well. The only ones that haven't really put anything out are these little tiny ones, and they still might. So, all right, I have been a huge slacker, and I know I, I did this video sort of updating you on my Pinguicula propagations here, but what I did is, I didn't post it, I think it was like a couple of weeks ago. I haven't posted it yet, I've been slacking, and I decided to go ahead and add this on to this update just because now we're at like 33 days I think, it's been a little over a month, and you can see they've gotten even crazier. So look at how well these are doing. See some of them are kind of growing in bunches, like those there, and some of them have just grown really big, beautiful rosettes like that one there. And a lot of these are actually ready to be transpotted into their own planter. You can see some of these leaves are really dying. See, look at this one's really not getting anything from the leaves anymore. But look at some of the, the root systems that these have generated. Look at those beautiful roots there. So this form of propagation has worked incredibly well. I'm so impressed. I'm actually so impressed that look, I started a whole other section over here. So you can see that these have done just a really, 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 sorry, the light's not the greatest right here, but you can see they've just done a really incredible job of growing lots of roots some of these rosettes and it's kind of strange how some of them grow like a big rosette like that one there and then some of them really just grow these kind of big like this one's here a really good example of the big bunches so it's kind of strange how some of them grow these nice big beautiful rosettes and then some of them just bunch out like that but either way they're doing fantastic some of these have some really great color really really beautiful pink and green color so we're going to get these repotting see some of these even these little ones are starting to grow. I'm like, there's one growing on there. Let's see. These ones over here are a little too small, but you can see this one was a tiny one here, and it's this is almost as big as the leaf that it grew out of. So even the smaller ones, maybe not ones quite that small, those ones haven't really done anything, but even some of these smaller ones have done a really fantastic job of producing some some beautiful leaves in here so there we go so yeah so that's the second part of this update i figured while i had you too that i gave you a quick update on the pings that i repotted last time you can see they're actually doing really really well one of these here had a whole side missing if you saw my last video you know that the i kind of pulled off a whole side of one of these and i actually can't even really tell which one it is now because they've all kind of grown back in and they're all starting to take off and kind of do their own things they're throwing out their own flowers 
and uh, they're just really, really growing well. So these are all doing really, really awesome. These are all the ones that I pulled off of the, uh, the main plant and kind of separated into their own, and now they're all really starting to, to sort of take off on their own. So uh, you can see some of these really, really cool flowers here. Really pretty pink flowers. Really, really cool. But uh, yeah, so I figured since I've shown you my propagation here that I'd also show you the, the ones that I separated and repotted on their own, kind of how they're doing it. They're starting to take off on their own and I'll probably do more pollings here soon and do another tray of propagation so we can really get these multiplying. But yeah, so the, thanks so much for, for stopping by and checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video. That stuff all helps me out a ton, and I really appreciate you being here. And I really, really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.